Hello everyone, I am Martin and this is the introductory episode of the new project. Yes, it is a just to be honest, but does that mean that everyone else should leave? Of course not, because you may eventually find pleasure, food or other inspiration here, even if you play another instrument or just enjoy listening. So let me briefly introduce the project and explain what it's about. As I know from my childhood experience, playing a musical instrument is associated with many hours of practice alone. I enjoyed playing the violin so much, mainly because I had such a beautiful and wonderful teacher who I loved so deeply platonically. Of course, every kind of motivation is priceless. But I liked playing mainly because I shared it with other fellow children right from the very beginning. We played in children's cymbal music, we had various duos, a quartet, an orchestra and a lot of other groups. It's just something completely different when you are part of some harmony than just practicing and playing on your own all the time. And I know that this is the reason most of you are probably making music, because of playing together. But for many people this possibility is unavailable for a variety of reasons, so they just don't have anyone to play with. And here we are at the heart of the matter. Our side is to become your partner in your playing, to become your companion. It works like this. I will be posting a video on YouTube from time to time, hopefully on a regular basis. And this video will contain a transcription or adaptation of a classical composition or some songs. There you can listen to it and hear how it sounds with an accompaniment. Below the video you will find a link to the Love to Play Viola website where you can then download the sheet music in PDF and also accompaniment in MP3. The project was originally intended for violists for the simple reason that they don't have as much repertoire as for example neighboring violinists. I started with it four years ago when I did some transcription of a few songs for my friend's wedding. During the time I found some other songs that I liked, something about them just got me. And all the process and playing just made me very happy. So I said to myself, why should it be just me enjoying these pieces? Maybe it will make someone else happy too. Because in the end you will find that what makes you the most happy in life and what makes life the most meaningful is creativity. When you simply produce something with your own body and hands. In the case of music, when you produce tones and harmonies. Not even to mention when you compose them. That's why there are so many singers, composers, producers, players. All creative people know the flow when the creation itself engulfs them like a tornado. That one almost flies on it. Amazing feeling. Even if it's something completely insignificant, some small idea. It captures you all day, sometimes even a week or more. Even you certainly know it from, for example, such a banality as playing with your mobile, you see. Just give it a new launcher, icons, widgets and you have a better feeling as if you had a new mobile. Or if you take a good picture and adjust it in some app, even if it's not realistic. But that's what it's about. In reality, it is realistic. You've just added some value the value of your creativity. You can enjoy playing so much even if you can't make a living from it. It doesn't matter. Or maybe it's just the opposite. I know a lot of people whose hobby has become their livelihood. And they told me that when it happens, it often no longer has that something and they have to find that in another hobby. I am also not a professional. For me it's also just a hobby. I have a great job. I sell pianos which is actually very similar to this project. When people come to our piano shop, they very often don't know what they want yet. But they possibly have a child and here it is often up to me how and what I offer them, what I talk about. Quite often it's not about pianos at the beginning, but about music and playing in general. And here I sometimes understand it as such a mission. To ignite a spark where no one has before and where it's already burning to blow into the flame and to fan the fire. You have simply to ignite the love of playing. What you love, you like to do. 
Where your heart is, there is your treasure, as the good book says. And I admit that my heart is now fully in this project. So I will try to continue more purposefully now to discover other new pieces, because so far they come to me more by chance. What's most important in it? It should have a beautiful melody, which for me has always been the heart of the music that beats so powerfully. Somehow I have a feeling that today's music, both classical, popular and otherwise, doesn't have a melody, as if it was no longer fashionable. But I love them. Most of music are just melodies that stick in our memory, bring us a good mood, help with dejection, emotionally underline our joy, and even though the melody is sad, they reduce our depression. And that's why I would like the world that opens up to you through this project to be the kingdom of melodies. It will not only be a classic, but as they say in Czech Republic, from Bach to Vlach, who was the popular conductor of swing orchestra. Of course, this meant that someone wanted to mix other genres with classical music. And that's probably how it's going to be here too, because nice tunes aren't just classic, right? Okay, that should be enough for a start. I'll end here the verbal introduction and uh, let's go to play. And I just hope that you will enjoy it too. <laughs>